currently there is a big discussion of whether or not Roblox is going to remove R6 going on within the Roblox community. I believe it started with the fact Roblox said they will be deprecating R6 which is obviously not very clear to a lot of people. So I do think that is where at least 90% of the confusion is currently coming from. So Roblox deprecating R6 is definitely something that we need to get into in a lot more detail so we can explain exactly what is going on right now. So before I forget please make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already done so and very quickly please join my discord server the invite code is Chloe Gims and there is a link in the pinned comment. So to say that they are deprecating R6 I think that is why people are confused. It's probably not the best word to use but also it does explain it very well if you actually know what's going on with this. Roblox will be deprecating R6 at some point in the future. They are currently working on tools that enable developers to build R15 experiences that feel like R6 experiences. Maybe, maybe I don't fully understand why they would ever need to do something like that, like just have games either be R6 or R15. Some games can be both at the same time, but right now they are working on an update that basically makes it so that you can have your R15 only games allow R6 looking avatars or feeling avatars or alternatively your R6 only games to allow avatars that look and feel like R15. I don't know, it's kind of confusing unless you actually look into this and they do have some GIFs or videos to show examples of what exactly they are working on but still they did say that they will be deprecating R6. Roblox has just introduced the R6 to R15 adapter, a product that will allow creators who build R6 experiences to use the latest R15 avatar features while retaining a similar feel, functionality and movement to their R6 experience. It's pretty much just like I said, I don't know how, like in what way I could possibly explain it for it to make more sense than what I'm trying to tell you already. Some games on Roblox are R6 only, so even if you have R15 on your avatar, when you enter the R6 only game, your avatar will just automatically convert to R6. Using the R6 to R15 adapter, when you enter the R6 only game, it will allow you to keep your R15 avatar and like layered clothing, dynamic heads, basically avatar features that were exclusive to R15. This will now allow those to stay on your avatar even inside of the R6 only game and it's still gonna make your avatar like move and feel and basically look like an R6 avatar but it's kind of R15 like I, it's very confusing and I don't know how much sense this is making but basically in this gif example that they posted this is using the R6 to R15 adapter. This one right here is an R15 avatar joining an R6 experience without the adapter and then this one right here is an R15 avatar and an R6 experience using R6 to R15 adapter. I know I'm very aware that this is a lot to take in. I'm going to admit it did take me quite a while to understand this myself. In the first GIF there is no layered clothing, there is probably no dynamic head, I'm not entirely sure. The scaling of the avatar is completely gone, this is just a normal R6 avatar. Obviously contrary to what this person's actual avatar looked like because when they joined the game using the adapter it gives them the scaling back, you can see they're a little bit shorter, a little bit wider. The layered clothing is now on the avatar, it's basically the original R15 avatar but inside of the R6 only game it looks like R6, it feels like R6. Technically it's not R6. So the adapter basically would just allow R6 scripts to run on R15 bodies. So from now when an R15 avatar enters an R6 experience they will behave similarly to their R6 counterparts. I hope that this is making sense. But the main thing that we're going to take a look at, I mean there is a lot more information if you want to look into this for yourself because I'm not going to lie, I like this update, like I really do like this update and the fact that 
they are not really removing R6 as such, they are just making this whole R6 to R15 thing, R15 to R6 thing. But are you deprecating R6? We will preserve the classic look, style and movement of R6. We will deprecate the R6 technology stack at some point in the future because of its limitations. So deprecating, basically, I mean, the Google definition is expressing disapproval or disapproving, so it's not like they are completely 100% definitely removing it, deprecating, they're not really gonna pay attention to it, I guess they are trying to say. And that is why they are saying they're going to preserve the classic look, style and movement of R6 avatars. That's using this new R6 to R15 adapter and that is what we saw in those GIFs. So yeah, long story short, the answer to is Roblox removing R6 Kinda not really. They're gonna pay a lot less attention to it and they are gonna, you know, put a lot more work into the R6 to R15 thing. Whilst at the same time, these R15 avatars are gonna be able to look, move and feel like R6 avatars. So it's still kinda gonna be there. We're just gonna have to wait and see how this works out. So please, the comments is the place to go. Tell me what you guys think about Roblox saying that they will deprecate R6. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.